Welcome to Made with Love. I am really excited to share today's message and talk about one of my favorite discoveries I've made yet in my healing journey. Uh, today's topic is called Inner Child. And inner child work is a very sincere and vulnerable journey uh, within ourselves that rediscovers the little girl or the little boy within each of us. Uh, this was uh, something that uh, I, I took many, many, many years to develop. And um, it is probably my favorite relationship that I have at all in life with anyone. Uh, this relationship has developed um, mostly from um, a sense of humor. And what I mean by that is uh, as I started my journey to get to know uh, my little girl within, I realized that um, that little girl within me has quite a sense of humor. <laughs> and uh, when I would hear that voice inside say things and communicate to me and speak to me, you know, as I was experiencing some things in life, I noticed they were always things that made me laugh and smile. So I want you to start attuning with this space within you too, because I do believe that it is a remarkable experience with yourself that changes the way that you um, will self-advise and prepare yourself to um, uphold in different um, energetic fields and in different spaces that you're invited to um, become. So for instance, Start this practice um, each day by tuning in with a picture. So I brought mine. And these are my little pictures of my little girl. <laughs> I'm not sure how well you can see this. And I also have this one. And I share this with you because these are the exact candid shots that I keep with me all the time. So I usually will tuck them into my books or my planner because sometimes, just sometimes, when I'm adulting and I'm acting my 46-year-old self, um, I can lose sight of some things that are really, really important to me. And that is my truth, my sincerity my, um, the part of me that isn't guarded or protective, the part of me that can feel a little fearless, and also the part of me that can feel scared and for great worth because it represents that I should listen and pay attention a little more. So I find that my inner child is a great radar for things that I should be um, giving attention to more and more and more regularly instead of pleasing all of the other energies that outsource me, right? So think about that. Think about the different people, the different relationships that you share that take energy from you. And we spoke about this a little earlier in our cycle. What are we giving to and what are we taking from? So in relationships, some relationships will require more of our attention and more of our physicality and more of our emotions and more of our vulnerability, right? And some won't. So I want you to just attune to all of the relationships that you are giving to, that you are feeding, and how that outsources you and what you are communicating from. Are you speaking and are you able to be um, expressive in that relationship with um, your inner child? Or are you adulting in that relationship? Like, for instance, maybe perhaps if you are in uh, a relationship with uh, a colleague at work, right? That working relationship might require a little more of you to be that adulting self, right? But maybe if you are in a relationship with, um, you know, you are a parent or you work with children, it might um, it might serve you to speak a little more from your inner child as well. 
sometimes I find that relationships itself between, you know, two loved ones often can find each other serving uh, in, in their highest of high when they're able to speak to each other from each of their inner childs. Because sometimes in relationships of that nature, um, that is what we are trying to feed. So it's really important that we as an individual learn how to love that part of ourselves because it is when we can attune to that and learn how to love and have that relationship with ourselves, we are more likely to um, share that attribute and that part of ourselves to others. Yes, true speak on other levels. That's right. And it, it's just, it's, it's, it's really important to acknowledge the truth, the truth that comes from our inner child, because our child within will say things a lot differently than our adult, the adult version of us. The child within sometimes will will be impatient and be like, I don't want to wait in line. You know, like if you're at Costco, my inner child always comes out <laughs> and will say to me, oh, my goodness, what is with all these people? I don't want to wait here. I want to go next. <laughs> and sometimes I'll have to just say to my inner child, all right, we're going to practice patience today and um, just observe, wait, and look around and watch all these beautiful people. And, and I self kind of coach myself into patience into compassion for myself, into understanding where my little girl might feel anxious and want to go, right? So I share that with you as an example of just the different conversations that you might have that come up. Listen to them and ask yourself, who is speaking? All right. Because when we have those conversations in our head and when we have those expressions of emotions and different feelings that come forth, they all come from different places. Right. So we talked about having the expression and the conversation um, of our inner child. Right. And that that for me was an example of being impatient. Now, we might have. Um, you know, a conversation that comes up from the in, from the adult part of Joanna that then is able to parent that inner child, right? And say, it's okay, be patient, it won't take long, right? But then there's another part, and that's called the ego. The ego might kick into that conversation and say, all right then, be patient. <laughs> you know, the ego is usually a little more um, bolder for lack of better words. And the ego has a whole nother um, conversation that comes through that is definitely going to interpret the conversation from our inner child and our adult version of us very differently depending on what needs they need met, right? So be aware of all the different conversations that are happening within us. And as you become more and more aware of that, it gives you opportunity to counsel yourself, to soothe yourself, to talk to yourself in ways that change the script, right? So, you know, for instance, if you have mind chatter that, you know, comes up and if in that mind chatter you absorb it with um, conversations and rebuttals and remarks that stunt the expression of that inner child and don't allow them to be fully heard or to receive compassion, that's not going to help us heal. Mm -hmm. So it's really, yes, transcendental. Yes, you're absolutely right, Daniel. This is definitely a version of that. And it, it is the parallelism between the parent and the adult in both of us and learning how to regulate the two so that we learn how to parent ourselves and we learn how to comfort our own inner child and have really healthy conversations with our inner child so that our inner child feels loved, feels nourished and feels compassion. And compassion is a really big component because when we learn how to offer our own selves compassion, it changes the way our script goes within our head and how we not only treat ourselves personally, but the availability and the practice that we have to then treat others. Because if we're capable of loving ourselves in a healthy way, and we are capable of, 
giving ourselves that compassion and that nourishment that we so deserve, it makes us that much more capable of being able to do that with other relationships as well. But the first place we want to start that experience is with ourselves. So my invitation for you today is to invite your inner child out to play. Invite your inner child out to play and allow yourself to do something that maybe your eight, five, ten-year-old little self loves to do and hang out with you. I know that <laughs> I hang out with this kiddo all the time and she's my best friend now and um, she makes me laugh, she makes me cry and she always makes me remember how I really, really feel, even if that's over the top joyful or sad. I know though that when I feel her, she will give me a very honest understanding of where I am in that moment. And then it's up to me as my 46 year old self to practice parenting my inner child with love and with compassion and, and in healing, right? So all of those great antidotes that we've collected in the last half dozen days, we can then now apply right? We can go back to perhaps maybe explaining some of our belief systems to our inner child and, and perhaps explaining to that little girl or little boy why maybe we've adapted them. And as an adult, why we no longer need them or why we're going to continue to carry them on. Perhaps maybe we've, you know, really understood how movement and what we are feeding has enriched our, our life. And maybe our inner child, that little boy or little girl, doesn't understand what that means because they haven't been nurtured and cultivated in that light. Take the time then to share that with he or she and be with them as they learn this new behavior and be patient with you as you practice this new behavior and let it incorporate and envelop in your life and unfold as the adult and inner child relationship flourishes. You will become more and more confident with each other. And really, I think the most profound thing that you may receive is this in this experiment is trust. How often we give our power away and we um, share how we do or we don't trust someone. Well, when we have a relationship with ourselves, we discover that trust, really, the foundation of it comes from within. When we trust ourselves, because we are listening to ourselves and we are nurturing ourselves and we are healing ourselves because we are aware of what feels good and what doesn't, we enhance and embellish trust. Not only are we able to trust ourselves in a more powered way in our lives, but we also can find that same trust and value in others. So make a date, make an awesome, fun play date with your inner child. I hope that you will share what you do and how that feels. And um, I hope you have fun. <laughs> and you know what? It's okay if you cry. My little girl cries all the time. Sometimes they're tears of joy. Sometimes they're just tears of expression. Sometimes tears can just come from us as we express, as we let go and we become. So have fun in the next couple days and really the rest of your life with that little boy or little girl within. And just know that every time you spent loving that little one, you develop your adult one even more. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have fun spreading the love from within. And peace be with you always.
Let's take a deep breath in together and drop into meditation and praise, praise that child within us for all that he and she has given to our lives. Let's take a deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Dropping into a sweet, sweet place within our hearts. Take this moment to attune to your little girl or boy within. Hopefully by now you can see your sweet, beautiful face at maybe the age of five or eight or 10. Whatever age comes up is the one, the child, the age that is seeking your attention the most. Take this moment to draw the light in and surround it around both of you. Connecting them in one left, one breath, one understanding. Making a promise to yourself and to that little girl or boy that you are here now. And that you are going to take very good care of you. You are going to listen, check in, support. And uphold and love and nourish and feed that beautiful heart always. May you feel the embrace, the child in your heart, and allow that beautiful space to expand the vibration of love, passion. Forgiveness, an endless support of light. May you receive all that is needed now so that you may call to your highest power and truth and receive each and every ingredient needed to nurture your inner child to heal your inner child and to love. From the tiniest little speck of light to the most beautiful and bright rainbow within you. Breathing into that beautiful spirit, slowly open your eyes and smile in the light of this moon. <laughs> Look at all you kids out there. You're so cute. <laughs> all right. Two parts. Send me, send me a picture of your inner child. I want to see all those cute little boys and girls out there. And send me, send me your first date together. Send me a, a fun synopsis. Give us all a, a, a screenshot of what it looks like to be on a play date with your inner child and your, um, your beautiful color of rainbow that shines around both of you. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to leave you off in that lovely land of love and joy and peace. But before I go, my fellow VP and amazing, beautiful friend, Trina Myers, is kindly knocking on my door and reminding me to let you all know of something really incredible. We have an amazing opportunity that was offered to us by Amazon to gift all of you a free ebook on February 11th. I just need one thing from you. I need you to go ahead and snag that opportunity. So um, Trina is going to give us some details on our Facebook group that tell us where and what to do. But on February 11th, which is, uh, I believe, this Friday, right? Friday? Is it Friday, Trina? February 11th. Very 
Wednesday. It's Thursday. Okay. Thursday, February 11th, double ones. Thursday, February 11th. And we, I'm sure, will remind you until then. Amazon is giving us a great opportunity to gift you a free ebook of Made with Love. So if you don't already have a copy, please take advantage of this. Not only does it gift you a great opportunity to follow along in our 22 days, but it also gives us an opportunity to create more spread of this beautiful love. So please take advantage of that. Um, Trina will gladly um, pass on all that information. So watch in our feeds. And remember, February 11th, Thursday, is your day to get your free ebook on Amazon. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's Tuesday. We're not that, you know, not that far from Friday. And Valentine's Day is this weekend. So we have a lot of love to puddle up in our hearts so we can spread all weekend long. Who's in? Can I get a high five? Woo -woo. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.